F1 2022 releasing in three weeks or two weeks depending on how long this video takes to render and stuff so in light of this game i have found something truly amazing as i think the beta has been out for a while but like the issues that my pc cannot run unfortunately i know low pc users man can't believe this lifestyle but today we are playing f1 2022 with an f1 2014 mod which is pretty flipping well made not gonna lie so if you guys would like this channel please like and subscribe and let us dive into this new world of f1 2022 on f1 2014 right off the bat as you can see here we can see the alpha mirror 2022 which looks quite well made not gonna lie this keep in mind that f1 2022 has the halo and the new cars but it's still just the body of the old generation of cars but like it's still really very impressive as the fact that f114 keep in mind do not have the halo yet ERS did not exist a lot of these modification changes did not occur because that was the start of the thing so let's dive into time trial today and as you can see there's different the same cars here like ferrari let's go ferrari this bahrain saudi arabia australia san marino there's actually new tracks here like this is quite well crafted but let's hope they actually are because you never know like some tracks could be just a different track like azerbaijan is not in the game the french grand prix is not in the original game f2014 netherlands italy or italy is but san marino wasn't but it could be because this f1 2014 but san marino let's go with that and let's just dive straight into this madness of f1 2022 so over here we have our cockpit which is very similar to my previous video if you guys haven't watched it of f1 2019 which because it's a mod of course it's not going to be 100 percent perfect in terms of your cockpit view but let's actually dive straight into it literally as we're starting this by the way the biggest noticeable difference i've heard is the engine sounds which is amazing a lot better than f1 2014 like if you hear those engines those engines were atrocious like i don't know what happened then but we have to give it slack because f1 2014 was just the carbon copy of f1 2013 with just mods essentially that's what's the game but diving back into this mod it looks very well crafted like the f1 2019 car just went up track there for a second but like if you look at like the smoothness of course you can hear you can see our helmet over there it's a lot buggier though unfortunately with compared to other like f1 mods like f1 2019 but as you can see there's different cameras one's really close like that like geez that's very very interesting to have a cockpit view like this that's the main one which i usually use to use on the f1 2019 mod you can see the body is actually quite well crafted and also like seeing the like the size of the car and like this angle looks a lot bigger than the others so let's actually like sew it on the car and have a just general look of the car so look look at that this is this is a really good mod oh, of course the side parts are just drawn on if you can see like if you just look very close you can see it's drawn on which kind of sucks but i'll give some slack since they did so much like you can put the sponsors at the correct positions the board of the over board of the car looks quite well made Doris is working fine I know um, I did this other mod try to make another video of I think it's F1 2018 which the RS wings weren't working but as you can see it's looking very good as a mod going to those corners there although there's some buggy differences like there right now if you just see Doris starts out a lot deeper and also like shifting is kind of an issue because um if you look at the radar on my bottom right screen it shifts 
at lower angles. Keep in mind this is in kilometers, not in miles per hour like you folks in the USA like to do it. But you can see like even look at the halo. The halo from this angle looks perfect. Like I would not think this is a genuine mod, which is like if you've seen well I'll probably like at some point actually capture this point of the when he gets into the cockpit of how like it's just invisible. So like as they come into the cockpit it just like his hand just goes into it. But like you genuinely think that it's actually part of the carpet's actually like a ghost thing. But as you just try and make a faster lap time here. Like look at look at that. Like even the sound, just the sound, just appreciating the sound for a second. This game sound is amazing compared to F1 2014. It's just of course shifting is kind of a hassle. But we we can just move on. Just Alright, for this next segment, we are going to try out an actual race. So we're gonna be racing of course with Mercedes Benz. Let's go with Lewis Hamilton. Then I don't know what track to decide. Let's go with San Marino. Just to see if it's the actual realistic one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the San Marino Grand Prix at 2022. As you can see, I told you like before, like he just moves through the halo. You can look at the engineering also doing the exact same thing. But it seems like they actually genuinely got the track. But before I continue telling you this, this is actually, if you look at the menu here, this is actually F1 2013's emula from the classic tracks era brought into F1 2014. Which, as I've said this before, F1 2013 was literally F1 2014, but better. As 2014 was just a full-on mod. Like, I don't even understand. But there's minor changes to it. And the one thing I really like about F1 2014 is the community. So let's get back into our front positions. Max Verstappen P1. Then us Sir Lewis Hamilton P5, which of course real life was um totally different. It's, really, it's kinda laggy because it's quite buggy this mod, not gonna lie. And it's green right here. Kinda a slow start right there. Pulling. Ooh. And look how true he's here, Alonso. Breaking heavily, of course, make contact there with Perez. Going down the straights, you can hear the car engine sounds sound really, really good compared to the other one I tested out too of F1 2019. Going through those corners, quite it's quite a house, especially with the shifting issue. And you can see George Russell P6 at the moment. Can we fight for P3, a podium position? Fighting them Red Bulls and Ferraris on top. Yeah, as you can see, like, this is definitely F1 2013's uh, classic cars. The classic claw mod. It wasn't a mod, but like DLC, which included this track. Because it's, you can see it's like the 2001. I don't think it's the 2001. I might be mistaken, but this is not the latest version at all. But we cut some slack because it's a lot. But I want to do something at the end of this lap, which will make this race kind of more interesting. Which I found with this mod, and I was like, hmm, let's ex actually try this. But I have to go into the last corners because in the new version, just it's a straight over here. We've crossed the line. Now let's dive into this so you can see there's something called more options a menu like that so this allows to change weather of course transmission change our tires slow rain reduce mechanics so let us actually test out and put heavy rain this time everyone of course with prime tires cycle can change like the demo weather our tires intermediate let's stick with prime continued you can deploy a safety car red flag the session and let's just dive into the last two laps and see how much chaos can be caused with this 
mod. So far we still have quite a good amount of grip but it's gonna like quickly descend and uh, a boy ooh, we're getting sandwiched over here and that seems like George Russell has gone off track there's our yellow flag and the one thing I swear if F1 2022 does not have is red flags because if this mod has red flags and it doesn't, I'm gonna play this mod the whole time because you, you know the boy's in poverty right now with, with flipping F1 2014 but that would be a really good addition if the fight did add that but look who's behind us Alonso pushing on to us with that Alpine with a 9 second gap, jeez what a slow lap for us but it's getting a lot trickier to stay on track because it's getting a lot wetter Breaking. We had to break a little bit earlier here to make sure we make that corner. Should we put in? Ooh, just losing traction over here. I think we can just hang out for one more lap because it's just three lap rest. Cutting in there. Ooh, came out wide there. This is, this is becoming a very hard thing to drive. And you can actually, I've never really realized this, but. If you look down, you can see Lewis Hamilton's actual helmet. Like that's, I didn't really like acknowledge that. But that's a very nice addition to this mod. Oh my gosh, this this is turning out to be very, a very hard race to stay on track with. Going through that chicane. Oh, I'm getting pushed on again by our son Alonso. And I think Bots is right next to us. No, it's Magnussen. Ooh, the Hess. But can we catch him? Of course, there's no ERS in this game, so. But there is. Um, we can change the fuel load in this game too. But you can see our tires are not even doing well at all. Not even warming up. Going to that steep corner. Right see Norris and Magnuson fighting behind us. A three second gap, damn that is, that pace is shocking, but can we just hold on for this lap because my tyres are not, I'm not doing anything with it, and Max Verstappen has crossed the line, ooh and we came very deep there, definitely rain is not really good with this, with these types of tyres here, seems like no one's trying to pet though, See now even you can even see when we break this water coming out. But as we cross the line, P6, good effort. You can see his helmet there, he's looking depressed. Like just like me. But that was that was an interesting, very interesting race with like the fact that you can change weather. Just emulating actual global warming, if you think about it. Alright guys, that will wrap it up. For today um i like this mod this mod is a lot more in depth than the f1 2019 mod i tried out uh i really like the fact that there's so much put into it uh, i like i would like to praise the developers for this mod because you can see like they changed the body kit tires the liveries for every car even put the actual drivers into this thing and um, of course the different tracks which i had to give praise for so i really like this mod so anyway guys take care goodbye i'll see you guys very soon